a perennial feature on our 10 best cars list and a beloved member of our long-term test fleet. The Porsche 718 Boxster is a summer day turn sheet metal. It's one of our favorite cars to drive, with nearly perfect dynamics, timeless design, and a fabric folding top. Yes, the engine note is less virtuosic now that there's a turbocharged flat 4 in the engine compartment instead of Porsche's classic naturally aspirated flat 6, but time marches on, to linger is to die, etc. Not to mention, the new turbo 4s are quicker and more powerful than the engines they replace. In short, the years have not dulled the sweet sting of our love for the Boxster, and we don't think they will any time soon. The only real question is how to afford one. What's new for 2017? Lots. Both of the Boxster's engines are new and newly turbocharged, the suspension and brakes have been tinkered with, the exterior and interior have been refreshed. A new infotainment system has taken its place in the center of the dashboard, and there's even a new name. This new generation of Boxsters bears the 718 moniker, borrowed from the class of historic four-cylinder Porsche competition models that won endurance races in the middle of the last century. Trims and options we choose. As it turns out, we've already specced our ideal Boxster, and it's part of our long-term test fleet. For this review, however, we've configured a slightly more attainable example. We would still pick the more powerful Boxster S, though there's no shame in saving $12,400 by choosing the base model, which is nearly as fast and similarly satisfying to drive. We also would stick with the 6-speed manual for maximum engagement, but you'll never hear us say a bad word about the optional 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Standard features in the box stress include Bixen on headlights, LED taillights, two USB ports, cross-drilled brake rotors with red calipers. Porsche's classic a la carte options menu means that you could spend tens of thousands on extras for your Boxster. We'd stick to a few crucial add-ons, such as the $530 heated seats and $470 heated sports steering wheel to extend the top-down driving season, the $760 two-zone automatic climate control system, the $1,790 adaptive dampers, and the $1,320 torque vectoring rear differential. All told, that's a $74,320 investment. Buyers on the stricter budget shouldn't despair, a base boxster with no options is still a blast to drive. Damn phones, Babylon's came